June 4th, Pastor saying to us, there's power in you. Our opening scripture comes from the book of Ephesians chapter 3, verse 20. Now unto him that is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we ask or think, according to the power that worketh in us. You are full of power. There's authority and there's power. We have authority in the name of Jesus, but we have power in the person and presence of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. You have not only the highest authority, but also the extraordinary ability of God within your spirit. It doesn't flow from heaven to you. You got it when the Holy Spirit came to make his home in you. Hallelujah. All of the power of divinity is at work in you. No wonder Jesus said in Matthew chapter 10, verse 8, Heal the sick, cleanse the lepers, raise the dead, cast out devils. Freely you have received, freely give. You have it, and that's why you can give it. Hallelujah. That's why Peter could say to the lame man at the gate of the temple called Beautiful, Such as I have, give I thee. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, rise up and walk. Acts chapter 3 verse 6 and the man was gloriously healed Peter knew he had something to give he had great confidence in what he had today you have the same Holy Spirit that Peter had you have power in you Jesus said and you shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost has come upon you Acts chapter 1 verse 8 recognize affirm and put the power in you to work every day. Glory to God. Please say this confession with me. The Holy Spirit came to live in me. Therefore, the kingdom, power, glory, righteousness and dominion of Christ are manifested in and through me. I'm full of power. And with this power, I heal the sick cleanse the lepers, raise the dead, cast out devils, and do mighty works for the glory of God. For further study, please read Ephesians chapter 3, verses 20 to 21, Amplified Classic, 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 7, and Acts chapter 1, verse 8 of the Amplified Classic. For the one-year Bible reading plan, please read John chapter 18, verses 28 to chapter 19, verses 1 to 16, and 1 Chronicles chapters 14 to 16. For the two-year Bible reading plan, please read 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verses 29 to 39, and Proverbs chapter 31. Rhapsody of reality.